Hey guys, what's up? It's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great. Today I wanted to do something a little different from what I normally do, and I want to actually cover a YouTube scandal that just happened within the past couple days. So I was wondering if any of you had ever heard of Trisha Paytas. I know that I talk about her sometimes on my channel, but I'm not sure if I really ever got into who she was or why I like her or whatever. So Trisha Paytas is a YouTube celebrity and has been ever since she was about 18 years old. So for about 12 years because she's 30. Um, she's famous for doing renditions of Quentin Tarantino movies. She's um, lately been famous for doing mukbangs, which is where you eat in front of the camera and just kind of talk about the food and hold a conversation with the audience. So it's actually, I know it sounds maybe really lame, but it's actually pretty entertaining, at least for me. Trisha Paytas is also a singer, a performer. She's been to Chicago to do a show here. So she's really all over the map, but I don't think that she's really that widely recognized for whatever reason. Maybe because her platform solely is online. Our audiences are smaller. They feel more connected to us as people because that's what we put out there. So Trisha Paytas is in a relationship with a man named Jason Nash, and he's 45. The reason why there's so much controversy over their relationship right now is because they did get in a fight. And the fight was because Jason constantly makes the joke that he wants to have a threesome with Trisha, his girlfriend, and Tana Mojo. If you can get Tana to have a three-way with me and Trisha, I'll fucking buy you a Ferrari. I'll do anything. I'll be your slave for a year. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. You'll buy me a Ferrari. I, I, I can't buy a Ferrari, but I mean, I'll, I'll put a lot of money towards a Ferrari. You'll buy me a Ferrari. Give $100,000 cash. To Trisha, it's like those days are gone. They're in her past. And she doesn't want a threesome with anybody, especially Tana Mojo, who's 20 years old, compared to Jason Nash, 45. So... Trisha got a little peeved out about that. And I just have always said repeatedly to David, repeatedly, that I'm like, it's not a funny joke. It's not funny. So the reason why Trish was so upset isn't, I think, because Jason wanted a threesome or that Jason wanted a threesome with Tana even. I don't think that mattered to her. I think what mattered to her is the fact that she felt like, or she feels like, if they have some sort of intimate relationship like that with another woman, Trish is going to be left forgotten, abandoned, even. It takes so much for me to believe somebody cares and like loves me. <laughs> Let's be honest. What don't Trisha and Tana have in common? They're different people. They're two individuals, of course. But they look similar. They act similar. They have similar friends. How do you feel about Jason wanting to have a threesome with you? <laughs> but why me, Jason? You, you could have do YouTube better. Because he likes broken you girls. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true or true? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I think Trisha just feels... Like, she's in competition with Tana. That's why I think she got so upset. Because Tana's like a mini Trish. And it's true. But the reason why Trisha also, also got mad is because of David. And I don't blame her for this either. Trisha, can you help me with my video? You would do anything for me? I'd do anything for you. Can you and Jason have a threesome with Tana? Would you have a threesome with Jason and Trisha? <laughs> David will do anything for the vlog, man. He'll do anything to get views because that's how he gets paid. And it's smart. I'm not saying it's not smart because it is. The more views you have, the more money you make, the more famous you become, and everything that comes along with it. But 
David will often push the subject that makes Trish so uncomfortable and he'll just push it and push it and push it until she finally breaks down and says, I can't be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. You're a bad friend. If you had any respect for me and my feelings, you would not be doing this. And I completely agree with her. She got pretty disgusted, actually. Um, and she made a whole video going on blast about Jason, about David Dobrik, who's Jason's best friend. And she even included Brandon Calvillo, who has nothing to do with anything. She, I think she was just really emotional. Um, this video today is something that I just, I have to make because, like, it's out there. And it's embarrassing and it's humiliating and, um, I tried to call, talk to David and I tried to call Jason and both of them seemed to play it off as crazy people, psychotics would, and just to be like, oh, sorry, didn't know, no, didn't, sorry again. Finally, the most... I think gut-wrenching thing about this is like she brought up Jason's ex, his ex-wife, and talked about their kids on camera and now her video only got about 700,000 views but that was within a few short hours. She took it down after a couple hours but people saw that video, people downloaded it and kept putting it up and up. And finally, last night, she made a video just saying that she and Jason are still together. It seems like he's being really understanding about this whole ordeal. I don't want to break up with my boyfriend or bring attention to the fact that my boyfriend wants to sleep with someone else as a joke or not. I mean, he says it's a joke and I believe him, but to the outside world, it, it doesn't, you know, it's like... It doesn't look like that to the outside world. You know, Jason heard me crying in the bathroom about it. And I'm like, I'm like, I should just keep this together, you know? Because I, I love my relationship. And I do know Jason is a good guy. Like, I spoke on emotion and was like, he's creepy and stuff. I know he's a good guy. I mean, he does, he says and does stupid things for the vlog. But who's not understanding are Jason's ex, David Dobrik, Brandon Kilvillo. All these people who are not directly involved with Jace, Jason and Trisha's relationship. They just got dragged into it. It doesn't sound like any of them are going to forgive her anytime soon, but Jason does seem to be on her side. So we'll see where, you know, things take them. Hopefully they can figure things out. I love them as a couple. I'm team Trish and Jason all the way. Trayson. Huh? But, um, yeah, and so we'll, we'll just see. We'll see what updates they come out with. I know that I haven't seen David come out with anything yet, but Trisha definitely came out with an apology video, which I thought was really big of her, although this is not the first time by any means that she has done this. She's done this quite a few times. She's outed her gay boyfriends, because she's had multiple, and she's outed Jason before. Jason and Trish had a whole back and forth video type thing where they were saying, yeah, we're broken up, but he's what, here's what he said, here's what I say, here's why he's wrong, here's why she's wrong, and all this stuff. So this is not new to Trish by any means, but it's new to me, and this is news <laughs> for me. I think it's really entertaining. I love watching Trish, love watching Jason, love watching David, and all of them. I love the vlog squad, team vlog squad all the way. But um, yeah, I'm just curious to find out where this will take them and their relationship. So what do you think, guys? Do you like this kind of idea for my videos from now on or every once in a while? Do you want me to go back to doing daily updates? Do you want me to review more games and game consoles? What's up? Just let me know in the comments section. Like this video and don't for forget 
to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button by the subscribe button and you'll be notified every single time I come out with a new video. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.